Bosch built their empire on the Performance Line CX. Now rivals have stormed the ramparts. DJI and Specialized have launched motors so powerful that Bosch's latest CX suddenly feels, well, a little underwhelming. Yet industry insiders hint at a colossal Bosch upgrade lurking just out of sight. Can the industry titan strike back or is this the beginning of the end? Stay tuned to find out. For half a decade, Bosch's fourth gen Performance Line CX has reigned supreme in our EMTBs, so coveted that brands from Cube to Trek practically fought over every last motor during the COVID era scramble. Fast forward to 2025, the Gen 5 was set to reign once again, destined to crown flagship EMTBs across the board. Until DJI dropped their 120Nm Avinox bombshell paired with the slick new Amflow platform. We all scoffed, myself included. So for me, the torque output alone is not enough to make this DJI motor a game changer. Wasn't 85 Newton meters enough? Yet the industry went wild for raw torque and lightweight thrills. Then specialized Gen 4 Levo arrives, packing 111 Newton meters and 720 peak watts. Suddenly Bosch's careful evolution feels like timid tinkering or even worse, complacency. But seven months after the Gen 5 hit the trails, industry whispers have swelled into a roar. Bosch is about to drop a monster upgrade. Curious? Here's everything we've dug up so far. When Bosch rolled out the Gen 5 last September, we all hoped, expected a modest boost. 90 Newton meters felt right, matching Bros's Mag S while staying true to Bosch's focus on reliability. Yet no such upgrade materialized. But Bosch is a pattern. Remember the Gen 4's jump from 75 to 85 Newton meters in 2020? Well, now we're in a similar position. As we hit April, the rumor mill is in overdrive. Whispers, some credible, some not so much, all point to a May 25 software upgrade, pushing torque to at least 100 Newton meters. We've heard everything from 99 to 113 Newton meters, but our money is on a round 100, with peak watt output climbing towards 700 to rival Specialized 3.1 motor. To be completely clear, I've got no written proof or insider memo, no hard evidence or broken embargo from Bosch, but there are just too many voices saying the same thing. This power update is going to happen. It's just a matter of when and by how much. But the bigger question, will 100 Newton meters cut it in today's high power arms race? But that's a story for another video. While we're on the subject of Bosch upgrades, let's talk about the elephant in the top tube, that ugly blank hole on many a Gen 5 full sus EMTB. Bosch's system controller left a gaping void until now. Rumors say the Kiox 400, a vibrant color display, is queued up to fill that space and take on the top tube screens of the DJI Avanox, Pinion MGU, and the Specialized Levo 4. We've all seen leaked blueprints, awkward for Bosch, but exciting for riders. This display, it won't transform your torque curve, but a polished intuitive display could be the upgrade the Bosch cockpit desperately needs. To clarify, these upgrades are strictly for Gen 5 motors. If you're running the original Gen 4 or the Smart System Gen 4, you won't see a single newsmeter of extra torque or a pixel of that new display. I'm sorry, but this one's reserved just for the Gen 5. So it looks like Bosch hasn't been left floundering in the wake of the competition after all. Rather, they're doling out upgrades one tantalizing slice at a time. Suddenly, flagship e-bikes like the Orbea Wild, Trek Rail Plus, and Santa Cruz Valor are thrust right back into the top EMTB conversation. DJR's explosive arrival onto the e-bike scene shook the status quo and ignited an all-out power race, one we didn't know we needed, leaving us, the riders, as the real victors, with more choice and more performance than ever. So what do you guys think? Have Bosch done enough to win you back from the new competition? Did they even lose you in the first place? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And whilst on the subject of rumors, please don't forget to share any juicy e-bike gossip you might have with us too. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe. And if we don't see you in store, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.